Mickey's Maximum Exposure. Hi, this is Marnie Lynn Fields, and you're listening to Mickey's Maximum Exposure. Welcome to Mickey's Maximum Exposure. I'm your host, Mickey. Thank you so much for joining us. I have a great guest here today. Her name is Marnie Lynn Fields. How are you doing, Marnie? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for so, having me. So good to have you. Uh, first, I uh, met you at the LA Music Awards. You performed during the showcase, and it was such a great performance. Now, so how did you first get started in music? Well, I first got started in music actually as a small child. I'm the daughter of uh, a very famous uh, square dance caller and country western singer, Robert Leo Field Sr. My dad had one of the first uh, country music television shows, and it was national in the 1950s and 1960s. No kidding. Wow. Yeah, he was amazing. And his voice, uh, it was as smooth as Elvis Presley. Both my parents Mm -hmm. had the most beautiful voices that. That you've ever heard. My dad says that at two years old, he would practice his songs and I would slap him on the legs and say, no, daddy, it goes like this. <laughs> him and my mom, they met at a square dance and they got married. And my mom, she had a beautiful, beautiful voice. And her name was Ruby Marie Ferris Fields. And she used to sing me Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star every night before I went to bed, just like Michael Jackson's mother. Mm-hmm. He, he, I heard him talk and I fell so deeply in love with my mother and her voice. And my mom recently died October 17th, and I took care of her. Yeah, and she's a big part of all the songs and the songwriting. Mm -hmm. And I just, I wanted to mention that she was the first one to write a song in the family when I was like 19. My mom came out of the bedroom, and she she wrote, Would you take a little time to listen? Would you take a little time to care? Mm -hmm. And again, I fell deeply in love and said, That's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be writing those songs. So I went through a very serious, uh, several serious heartbreaks as a young girl, both at 16, 18, and then again in college. I found relief to that and started writing all these lyrics, and I would wake up in the middle of the night, and they would just flow out of me, these mm. heartbroken, I'm being tears, wow. and I just took it to the pencil. Mm-hmm. And, and um, Usually those are the best songs, the heartbroken. And also when they come to you in inspiration in the uh-huh. middle of the night. So I started that, and my mom also, she was the first one to start uh, script writing. So basically, today I'm a composer. And uh, I'm an award, multiple award nominated composer and pop singer mm-hmm. and the script writer. And then I'm also a chart topping, five time chart topping pop singer and ASCAP composer on the music internet chart since 2009. Wow. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> amazing. So this last year, there's been six award nominations in all the major LA Music Awards, Artists and Music Awards, mm-hmm. and also the LA Comedy Awards for screenplay oh yes I remember that yeah and and you you know I'm so happy to be here today because you have taken some of the best pictures of me on the red carpet ever taken by anyone (laughs) I love your photos they're always on my Facebook page they're always one of my profile uh, pictures the awards that I've been nominated for this year best female vocalist of the year best music video of the year for my recording of REM's everybody hurts and Mm -hmm. the project we can take some of the Herd Away, we're going to play that later. And I have two nominations for a song that we're going to play first, Shadows, and that was Best Blues Artist and also Best Americana Blues Roots Artist. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also uh, was nominated for Best American Pop Contemporary Lead Vocalist, and uh, that's that'll be the second song. 